Hello guys, welcome back here. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This roll is available on Glassdoor. And I would encourage you before I move into today's discussion that you please try to create a profile with Glassdoor so that you can easily source for jobs that are available there. And you can also still keep checking on this platform because there could be other jobs that we get from other sites. There are no Glassdoor I could get from any other site where they post jobs that we put down here. Um, today's video, I will do about three or four rows that are available together and they will be separate but in the same video. So it will be very important and helpful for you if you can try as much as possible to watch this video right from the beginning to the end it will also be helpful to this platform if you click like the like button if you click the subscription button so that once we are dropping videos you'll be the very first one to see them and watch them and go on along and put in your application and as appropriately as possible it will also help that friend of yours that family members that sibling if you share the channel with them so that they too can get registered i mean they too can subscribe and see what we are doing and who knows whether it will be that very thing that we open the door that they have been knocking for a particular length of time and this particular role that I'm discussing first is a care assistant role and it is in St. David's Care uh, in the community. You may want to check that out on the internet to see how they are doing. They have about four care homes uh, in St. David's, which is one of the towns or rural areas or and so that they, they have their centers. They have one in Pembrokeshire and they are having about five to eight residents living in those places. Then those ones have learning disabilities with different age ranges like late, I mean, early 40s to the 70s as per their age. So this is a new care home altogether. So they actually know what they are doing. This care home has been in existence for close to five decades. So if they say that they are willing to give sponsorship to people, I want to believe that you can read their lips and bank on whatsoever they are telling you. So please don't sleep on this. And there are myriads of shifts that you can run morning, afternoon, night. You do your work full time if you desire part time. And there are permanent roles. They have works at weekends. Honestly, they are doing very well. And if when you join them, they will give you 200 pounds bonus, which could be in terms of cash or voucher or what have you. And if you refer someone and the person is able to join them too, they will pay you that amount. In some situations, all this money they are giving you will have terms and conditions with maybe the person you refer would have worked a particular hours before they give you that 200 pounds and all those things. DBS check is very essential in the United Kingdom. That's our police clearance checks or police clearance certificate back at home. So if you get this job, you'll be expected at some point that you do a DBS check in all the countries that you've lived in. Maybe possibly some people will stay in the last six months, uh, within in the last six months, within the last five years. Some will stay in the last 12 months, within the last five years, whichever your case is. So... Because they may need to go out to see their clients, to see people at home. They've got company vehicles that you can use on shifts. If you are someone who is driving, it means your driving license must be intact and clean. And if you are coming from other countries, you must have your active license and be willing so when you are building your personal statement ensure that you put it there that you have a valid or in-date driving license and you are willing to immediately start learning how to drive in the uk and have your test done as soon as there is availability i know i can just do a dumping of this 
information but there is no point if you don't have the grasp or good grip of what you want to put inside your cv or what you want to put inside your personal statement these things are very very important so um what what will you be doing for the residents? There are lots of things, activities of daily livings that you will need to support them in doing. Could be feeding, maybe need to dress them, washing. Uh, maybe the place they used to feed, you need to support them. If there is someone who needs to be supported, like if they are using mobility scooter or if they are using Zima frame or whatsoever the means the means of their mobilities has, some could possibly be able to walk by themselves. You should be able to do that. Let it reflect in your CV. Let it reflect in your CV those mobility gadgets that you know how to operate effectively. And efficiently if you need your help with your cv reach out but it is not free because one i'm not the only one running that role two the people that are doing it are just like you they may need to put generator i mean petrol inside their generator they may need to put on generator and they will definitely fuel it and they will need data so please when you are coming if you want to come kindly note that this service is not free but i know it's not something people cannot cope with i know what people what people bill when it comes to this and i know in most situations we bill just about half or maybe less than half of what people outside there are billing so please when you are coming if you want to come come with the mind that there will be charges otherwise just make use of the information that i'm supplying on this platform to build your cv to build your personal statement okay so you must be able to utilize information technology system sit with computer there will be little things variable things that you can do not anything that is exceptional like someone who is an it guru you don't need to be a guru to handle those things the way you are handling your phone to type to relate you should be able to do that you must have good sense of compassion empathy be very helpful honestly all these things will really really help you then the salary is not bad it's like just 11.44 to 12 pounds per hour it might not be too big but it is not what you cannot cope with then you will work for at least 16 to 48 hours per week so if you are picking 12 hours shift that means you possibly be working four days at least in a week you may decide to pick extra shift okay so there are lots of shifts from Monday to Friday, from uh, you have day shift, you have night shift, you can work on weekends, so many things. What should you just have as your qualifications? Just have your WAEK or NECO and be able to speak English. Possibly, maybe if you've written English test, put the report there. And you know in this situation, it will be UKVI, IETS, if you are still uh outside the uk so it will be ukvi genera in most situation um this is a doable job build your cv very well ensure you call for help if you need help and i pray you will find favor of god and men as you go about your job search see you soonest don't forget to open the next page or wait for the next page of this video to open before you move on because it's going to be a loaded session this morning. Yeah, welcome back guys. Thanks so much for your patience. Honestly, there's nothing as soft, yummy cakes. Very succulent one and fluffy ones. There's nothing as tasty and easy on your cheeks and teeth as these ones. And so this particular employer um, in Luton, they are looking for baker or bakers. And they are very much willing, if all that it will take them, to get you to working with them will be to get you visa sponsorship and help you with relocation assistance. So far you have the appropriate skill. You can bake and honestly you can prepare food. You have good interpersonal relationship 
and you have good communication capability you are flexible and you are adaptable to the working hours they will be very very happy to have you if you want to do this because they want a home bakers the office is a more than one and honestly they will support you with all you need to settle into your role and perform excellently because they know if you are doing well you will put in your best and their customers will keep returning and bringing more customers the salary is juicy and um honestly mouth-watering like you'll be getting about 38,000 to 40,000 per annum which is a very 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 beautiful one I know on Glassdoor they said 38 to 40,000 pounds per month. I know it's not going to be like that. So I know a lot of people back at home who are pastry makers, good cake makers, good people with cookies, very good hands. They certificate of incorporation into business because if you want to do this kind of thing, you won't just be someone who has been doing the uh just beside the house thing if if your company is beside your house you should have registered it and possibly have an online presence where they can go out to and check out what you have been doing this is very important at this particular point in time if you have bank account that is linked to this business it will help you if you have cac it will help you if you have online presence it will help you if you have, maybe you are working under someone, you should possibly have pay slips that you can present that will show the company that you are working with. So let's assume those of you have worked with tantalizers and you are able to do things like this. You work with Captain Cook, you are able to do things like this. You work with Little London. <laughs> I know some people will smile <laughs> hearing Little London and you'll be able to, you, you work under them. You have your bank that they are paying to in the name of that company and you have pay slip showing that they are paying you this will be something i will encourage you to please put in your application and even if you are not working on that someone but you are the owner of your company if you have all those things that can show proofs put them apply design your cv to show what this job is if you have trade test certificate on this put the photocopy all these things will help to prove that you know what you are doing honestly if it's possible to have an email if i could if you have their mail you can give them a ring in this company search them online give them a ring do a video of how you are doing your thing how you are handling your kitchen equipment that you are using to do your thing send it to them because you will not be there to defend yourself it is these documents and videos that will be the evidence that you can do those things and handle the gadgets you say you can handle if you do this you may be the preferred candidate for this role and with this role this amount of salary you may be very close to being able to bring your family members and even if you are still leaving them for a while no evil will before them by god's grace you may be able to bring them in at some point in time but at least you'll be sure you are able to fend for them so Put in your application. Job application deadline will be on 14th of this month. If you are speedy with everything, they want you to start on the 31st. That's the last day of this month. I know this may, may, may be a shocker to some people and they may think they may not be the best fit. But let's assume you have your English on grant before UKVI English or you have degree and you can just go to school and collect your English language letter or quickly do an exes that you can do priority visa application if you get this job and they give you certificate of sponsorship you can put all these things as proof that you'll be able to start on 31st of this month I wish you success I'm very hopeful that soonest there will be testimonies pouring in and i will be showing you as these things come on board i wish you success and favor of god and men in all your endeavors i'll leave you the link i will not forget to leave you the link so you can put in your application welcome back here and uh, this role is one of those very 
rare ones to some it may be a funny one but it may be that very job that someone has been scouting outside there for and they are just getting it at their fingertips now so it is office manager or bookkeeping job office management role so uh what you be doing because this particular job is like for a that company on time cars what they do is to move people from places to places like taxis if you want to do private hiring of cars if you have someone in the airport that they you want to leave from the airport to anywhere they want to go to this is the job they are doing but you are not going to be a taxi driver all you'll be doing for them is to uh help them to perform administrative roles like administrative support that will make the office to run very smoothly and efficiently then you will also manage the performance of the team and team members and in such a way that a positive work environment will be the focus of everyone there you will also look over i mean be in consonance with the organizational task that will foster efficiency of the company and each member of the company you will also help the human resource managers in uh, their activities as they may desire you to do honestly i think it's going to be a beautiful job especially if you've got some um phone management skills good etiquette customer care skills so if you are possibly in the banking arena if you are someone who's been in human relationship maybe working with um names working with insurance companies wash, working with all those mini banks uh, uh those mortgage banks and all those ones it will be a very good one for you if you've been doing all those things and definitely you will work on sites in most situations they will give you visa sponsorship that's very sure and if you need it they will help you to relocate maybe you are probably in the uk and you want to move from one part of this country to another to be able to get this job done then it will be good for you you'll be able to uh, get the needed support from this team uh, members so it is essential that you put in your application look at the responsibilities look at the performance your performance i mean the requirements for your performance like strong supervisory skills and your ability to lead a team effectively if you've got uh, if you have um, proven experience in administration or clerical roles, if you are proficient in handling of phone, phone calls, coordinating all those things, it should be a good one for you. So I will leave the link so that I don't talk too much on this, but most times I love talking about those things so that you can uh, have insight into how you will phrase your personal statement or your cover letter. That's why sometimes I want to put in those words so that you will not copy the words they use their verbatim. So put in your application and expect a positive response from them. You can go on Google and check what this company is about. I checked them and they have very, very beautiful reviews. Honestly, their reviews are very, very superb. So you can go outside there and check. You can give them a ring. So it's not one fictitious company. It's a company that is alive and buoyant and bubbly. Whether you are here in the UK or you're outside there, put your roles together and get things done. I pray the Lord will help you in Jesus' name. See you soon as day.